So yeah, everyone will get your Apple Watches order, GPS cellular, 41 or 45, depends which one you want. And yeah, we're running a marathon as a company first week of December. So as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get the team all Apple Watches. We're also looking to raise minimum $100,000 for charity. And we're gonna raise that and donate that and put that towards uh, the next school that we're building in Nepal with our continued effort. Uh, with the heart trust. I wanna live good, so shit, I sell dope for a four finger ring. One of them go ropes, then it told me if I pass, I get a sheepskin coat. If I can move a few packs, I get the hat. Now that'd be dope, tossed and turned in my sleep that night. Woke up the next morning, niggas have stole my bike. Different day, same shit, ain't nothing good in the hood. I run away from this bitch and never come back if I could. Need it or love it, the underdog's on top. And I'm gon' shout. I'm Raps MVP, and I ain't going nowhere, so you can get to know me. So I ran a marathon three years ago because I wanted to end the year by challenging myself to kind of remind me how strong I am. And I thought, you know what, let me bring that challenge to the team. Let me do it again. And then let me, you know, basically pose the question to the team, you know, who wants to do this with me? And every single person said yes. For me as a leader, it was important that, you know, if I'm gonna ask something so crazy of my team, well then, okay, I need to show up and I need to make sure that you know, I'm never asking something of them that I wouldn't be willing to do myself. So that's why I just felt like I had to you know, do all three. Am I excited? Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, we'll get it done. Do you have any pace in mind? Uh, pace, I want to get, I think everyone under 430. It's just over six minute K. Just over six Yeah, 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 so. Be okay, be okay. Hey, we're I training, don't man. Huh? You didn't train? No, not really. I, we got busy. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you, guys, you guys will be fine. One marathon is, you can just ruin yourself tomorrow. Yeah. So, uh, give, it, give it your all, leave it all. Yeah. Leave it all on the table. Leave it all on the table and you'll be good. And then you'll be written off for a few days. Yeah. I think LA is gonna be the best. Um, Cape Town will be good weather as well, but Cape Town's like a lot of that. Yeah. So I think it's pretty flat here, right? Yeah. yeah. The biggest things that I find uh, stop people is uh, just not drinking enough water. So having water, having your salts, electrolytes, uh, just because that stops cramping. If you get cramp coming on, then it's just your brain telling you that you're not hydrated enough. Uh, that's why we've got uh, Emily to do the aid stations, so we'll have plenty of water. Uh, everyone's going to take Tristan's number, uh, and then if anyone does get in trouble, then uh, just text Tristan, and he'll come pick you up. Not pick you up, but <laughs> just sort you out, give you a rub. Give you a rub. <laughs> so, yeah. so just squat it down, back up, back Up. Who's gonna win? I don't think there is a, any winners. Whoever finishes is the winner. If you if you finish, then you won. That's all that matters for today is just finishing. I have to just run it slow and easy. Because if I injure myself, then I'm fucked. So I gotta make sure. I can't really like go up all out. I gotta really slow down. Okay, so you're, you're playing chess, not checkers. Yeah, because the thing is, listen, if I go all out and I injure myself, then the fuck am I gonna do on the next two marathons? I have to run a marathon in 48 hours. Shit, yeah. So with training up to the LA marathon, uh, we had around a 20 week marathon program because these guys, some of them had never even run before. So we needed to build them up from scratch. So we had a, a 20 week marathon plan for them to get up to speed uh, and to train them and prepare them. Along the way, uh, we did regular meetups online where we covered certain uh, subjects such as what to do in the hot weather, um, how to prepare for the actual event, and how to fuel on race day. I'm feeling not prepared, but it's a mental game. Mental game. We're here. We're here. We're not prepared, but we're resilient. We're robust. 
Okay. Yes. Alex, ready? Alright, let's do it then, yeah? Everyone ready? Everyone here? Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're about five and a half K in. Uh, running at around 5.15 per kilometre pace. Uh, everyone's feeling good at the moment? Yeah. You feeling good? Yeah. yeah, so long way to go yeah, but great start. Let's go boys. Only 24 more. <laughs> 24 good. more, you're good. That's it boys, that's it. That went baby. Let's go. Let's get it. Jeez. I'm not fresh anymore, boys. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Please, thank you very much. You guys gotta cut up. Cut left. Cut left. Oh no! How you feeling? How you good? Quarter of the way. Let's go. So obviously, the next thing I wanted to do was make sure that you know we were doing something good as a cause. So I basically put it on my social media. I said, "Listen, my company's running." A marathon, everyone, I'm running three, and whatever you guys donate to Pahar Trust, I will personally match myself, uh, which by the way, the link is still in the description of this YouTube video, this is your last chance. Yeah, I'll probably leave it out for another week. Yeah, whatever you guys donate, I don't care how much it is, I'll personally match it as well. The fate do a good job blending in with the road these days, but I still tell the difference. Rollness get recognition, I recognize that from a distance, see it from far. Bit A and P are told, bro, big, you don't smoke weed in a car. We are 24 kilometers. Yeah. Mm. Time to no. Oh, man. I don't put trust in vintage guns Stop whinging and go get some money What's wrong with these self-inflicted bums? Right. For my livelihood, push white in my hood But I don't recommend it, there's no longevity uh. Hey, what's up? Oh. Hello? Hello? Are you questioning your three marathons in seven days yet? <laughs> Bro, like, my, I, I, I start running and my foot starts curling over. Oh, like, like a toe, like a foot cramp. Like, what the fuck? Bro, I've never cramped in my life. <laughs> one of us. He's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, I told you, no one in my team quits. And uh, I ran a marathon on two weeks' notice because I just needed to prove to myself how strong I was. So I think doing challenges like this, especially as a team, how you doing, bro? Light work, boys. Light work, baby. Light work, bro. I'm doing challenges, especially as a team like this. Yeah, there's no better way to prove to yourself, prove as a group, prove as a company, just how strong you actually are. And I'm fucking so proud of the team. I think 1% of the population has run a marathon. Fucking 100% of my company has. So, yeah, honestly, all credit goes to them. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Where are we at? Alright, we're at 30 Ks. Done. How's it feel? It's tough. Especially underprepared, I don't recommend. You guys are smashing it. Thank it's you. It's bad. It's bad. I'm in, it, bro. I'm in a bad way, bro. Yeah. Like, tomorrow, it down, aren't you? like tomorrow, it's wheelchair bound. I know. <laughs> On my life. The whole team. whole team wheelchair. Things are joke. I'm not even joking. It's, it's wheelchair bound. <laughs> when I take my feet out, it's what's wrong. It's alright. Right. Love you and leave you. Alright, smash it. I'll Good see luck. you. 10k. Smash it. Good luck. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that. Love that. Final time, do you know? 
think like four hours. Good I don't shit. know. Good shit. There he is. Know. I've been back for about 20 <laughs> seconds. <Yeah>. Completely <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> good boy. Well Missed done, a few Jeff. of the stations. Yeah, you were hitting me. Doing so good. Time, bro. You haven't put yours on. What? Oh, yeah. Do you want me to give it to you? Yeah, yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> well done. For first. <laughs> Your first of three. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. A third yeah. of the way through. Third of the way through. <laughs> Light work. Oh, Jets. Jeez. Ooh. I mean, this thing. You made Boom. That. Uh, I'll be honest. So this one was just fucking annoying. The first half took two hours. The last second half took fucking three hours. There's 10 kilometer stretch. I was just cramping up every 45 seconds. So that was just quite frustrating. I've never cramped up like during a run ever in my life. So I can't really pinpoint why. I think I didn't really get enough fluids today. So yeah, it was annoying because this one was meant to be the easiest. But I think it kind of worked out to be the hardest. So yeah, 48 hours and we do it all again in London. There we fucking go! <laughs> Fuck that. Oh all right, well, boys, I just want to say I'm incredibly proud of you all. I, uh, I was telling the other gentlemen, I said, uh, no one in the team is going to fucking quit. And you guys all pulled through, so as I said, I'm incredibly proud of you. And I asked them, I said, listen, in your company, I'm assuming like everyone can run a marathon, right? Because, you know, obviously, like, they do like the whole fitness thing and stuff like that. And they said, yeah, maybe like 40%. So the That's fact true. that fucking a hundred percent of the company is running a marathon is fucking wild. So big pop up here. Um, during the actual marathon, it was like I said, really hot, and everyone started to cramp. Um, and despite this, everyone still made it through the marathon. Uh, everyone whether they, they walked bits and then ran bits, everyone made it through and every single person finished, which I thought just showed how determined and how strong the team are. Before we get into warm up, I just want to say I'm incredibly proud of all of you guys. Yeah, this is not normal. I'm sure you guys all know that. Uh, I'm sure you guys all know the fact that, you know, what you're about to embark on will not be easy but nothing about what we do with this company is easy, but uh, God knows it's worth it. So once again, I just want to say I'm fucking starstruck and in awe of all of you. Uh, as I said, I know some of you guys, maybe for some of you, you want to uh, break your personal bests, uh, break some records. Maybe for some of you, you guys just want to have a run with a good friend of yours and have a little chat. The point is, if you Complete 42 kilometers. I don't give a fuck if you have to crawl. I don't care if you need to walk. I don't care what you need to do. As long as you don't get a Barclays bike, we're all good. We're all good. So um, once again, big, uh, big congrats on you. Guys. All right, second leg. Second leg. Second out of three. It's fuck cold. my life. It's cold. It's cold. It is. But everyone showed up, huh? Well, of course, everyone does. So, we'll make it happen. Let's do it. Way home, tiptoe over nose cracks, can't ride back, keep running up soon back. Got some of that nose. Let me stare right in your face, and now my eyes red like a sun. Yeah. What's up? Three laps? 
<laughs> yeah, listen, London was cold, it was dreary, but it was also a terrain that I was very familiar with because I ran that exact same, you know, loop, uh, well, three years prior when I ran the, you know, my first marathon. So I was very familiar with it. And London was just a very boring one. Like it was just kind of put your head down and get through it. You know, it's raining, it's miserable, it's, it's also the middle one. So it's like, it's, it's a weird place to be out of the three. And I just kind of put my head down and, and got through it, but it was definitely my least. Of the three, it was the one I enjoyed the least. Huh. Have you ever raised the value of everyone around you? Have you ever been so high they gotta down you? Think peace is getting written about you. Have you ever been to Italy and eaten Italian? Have you ever signed a deal that came with a medallion? Have you ever booked a club and came with a battalion? Have you been to Montana and seen the mountains? Have you ever looked around and felt a profound sense of pride? How are we feeling? Nearly there, man. You good? Bro. Last 10. Last 10, man. Legs are aching as you can see us shaking, bro. Who's <laughs> doing? Hello, Benjamin. All the way there. How are you feeling? Alright, legs are feeling sore now. This is where the grind starts. Fuck. We're all the way there. I've run this far in my life. But I'm very happy to do this. I'm very blessed to be in a company supporting these things. So, Let's yeah. Go, bro. We're going to have to go get it done. 16k in. Let's go. That's how we do it. <laughs> Reasonably quick. Quicker than I thought. What was the time? <sighs> right at 425. <sighs> Let's go! Let's go, my man! Let's go, man! 0.3 kilometers, on, motherfucker. Man. <laughs> Final lap. This has been the most difficult thing ever. Last one, bro. Yeah, Last one, my boy. You know what's gonna help you through it? I'm gonna go two and a half. That way, two and a half back. Yeah. Oh, um, um, yeah, just horrible. It wasn't actually too tough on the legs, just so many injuries. So many injuries, bro, but just one foot forward to front of the other, keep going, and that's, that's the mentality. Let's what, was go. The, what was the hardest part? The last, the last two laps, easily. Easily the last two laps. At one point, my legs, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> last push, Cap. <clears throat> one lap. One lap. That yeah, works. Smash my Last kilometer. 41.1 kilometers. It was all worth it. it. Feels good when you prepare for something and you see the final result. Last couple of hundred meters. Let's go. Getting the job done. Done? I want to say, fuck I said at the beginning, but I'll say it again, I'm so incredibly proud of all of you to push through 42 kilometers in very typical London weather. I said I'm so proud of you, can't put into words, uh, yeah, just how taken aback I am, how starstruck I am, and you guys really are all the real superstars. You guys are the ones the unsung heroes that no one gets to see unfortunately but yeah today you guys fucking laid it all on the table and all of you guys showed yeah why you're here at this company so 
Absolutely. All I can say is that personally, for me, I look at all of you guys and I feel so motivated and so inspired. And yeah, I just feel like I go to work 10 times harder when I see all you guys. So yeah, I just want to say, go home, have a bubble bath. <laughs> have some eat whatever fucking food you want to eat <laughs> you guys deserve it you guys deserve the world and more so yeah, bless all of you in between uh, the la marathon and the london marathon uh, there was 48 hours so um myself and a man were quite sore especially the day after the la marathon and then having to travel uh, 12 hours to london but uh, a man did what he could. We, we did some stretching routines. We mobilized him. Uh, we ate as much food as possible uh, just so he could pre prepare his body for what was to come in London. Uh, but he did an amazing job. Uh, yeah, the London one was a little bit different because it was more uh, a team spirit. There was a lot more people running it. There was a lot less advanced people running it as well. So it was about the team finishing and it was more about the team finishing than a man finishing his second marathon. So uh, a man actually stayed with his team. He stayed with the slowest people in his team, which I thought was epic as well. Uh, it just shows what kind of guy he is. Final leg, bro. Yes, sir. You're doing it, getting high. Making it happen. How you feeling? If you want my honest answer, my foot is fucked. Which one? This one, the outside of my left foot. My knees are fucked as well, like proper, but that's like, that's like on the London Marathon, I was just really like, my entire legs were super sore, but you can kind of just keep past that, like, and then they, the pain goes away after some time, but this, this is a, uh, like bro, every time I step it off, I feel like I want to throw up. Mm -hmm. Like it's a, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Then it's again 24, 27, 30, 32. And from 32 to the end, that's where I'm going to ask for, the, for, for, for Tristan and for the girls to help me. Because the last 10 k's of a marathon is normally, that's where the marathon starts, okay? So it's going to be the hardest, especially if you're all new marathon runners, it's going to be quite hard. It's going to be later in the day. Uh, so the girls and I, we will communicate and we will be all over the place in cars, running to you guys, giving you whatever you need, okay? So Cape Town is the hardest by far, and I knew it would be the hardest. Um, the, the weather, the terrain, the wind, sometimes in Cape Town you're running, the wind is so strong, you're running and you're in the same spot, like you're not even moving. So the winds are intense, obviously it's very hot, and because of the wind a lot of times you don't realize it, so people get dehydrated very easily. And yeah, obviously the elevation, like the mountains are just savage. Feeling, bro. The wind and the incline, crazy. Shadow, 
go bow for the result, oh. Nothing to discuss, oh. Cause I did win by default and without any doubt, oh. I'm a me happy adult, oh. I no go feed the girl, I no go feed the girl is out, oh. I'm a mind that should be talk, oh. I put my life into my job and I know I'm in trouble. She manipulate my love, oh. Take you want one? Take it, bro. Let's go, boys. How's it going? How's it going? Where we at? Ready to run three more, honestly. I honestly think I could do another five. 25k in. Uh, now it's another eight. All right. Good stuff, lads. Good stuff. Glad work. What are you saying? Done? Done. No work. No work, baby. Three more? Two more? Why not? <laughs> Good shit, boys. <laughs> How are we feeling? here today and obviously you guys fucking killed it this is a brutal brutal route and the fact that not only you guys ran a marathon but you ran a marathon in those conditions on that route all of you guys should be so proud of yourselves and I want to say that I'm maybe unfairly even more proud of the people that were thinking of quitting I know some people want to quit and said it out loud, I know that probably a lot more people, and maybe even myself, uh, had thoughts of quitting and never said it out loud. And the fact that you guys pushed through is just such a fucking testament to, to all of you. So, I think I told you guys this already, but 1% of the population has run a marathon, and here today, 100% of our company has. So, thank you guys all of you. I know that there was members of the team that wanted to quit and they were like about to, you know, in fact, there was even one member of the team that quit, got in the car and then like a few minutes later was like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I gotta finish this thing. And to me, that's just, that, that is just the most beautiful thing that could ever happen. You know, you taste 
defeat, you taste giving up and you decide, no, that's not me. That's not us. That's not how we act as a company. So I just feel like in that moment, you know, he embodied everything that our company is. They're all fucking mentally ill. Like they're just f strong fucking people. And they have so much love and care for each other. We all do. It's like your little it's, it's armor. You know, when we're together, it's armor. You could put us anywhere. You could fucking put us anywhere in the world and tell us, okay, you see the top of that mountain? I need you to get up there. We find a fucking way. And I think that's just the culture of our company.